All right, I've got an algae problem and it's the Christmas season. So you know what that means? I'm gonna over engineer a solution to get rid of this algae. So in my previous videos, a few of you guys recommended a couple of solutions to fix this issue. The first one was hydrogen peroxide. So I tried that a couple of times, but it got rid of the algae briefly, but then every time it would just bloom back due to the glass and the light penetrating the glass. Then another one of your comments was to paint the glass black. So I would do that, but I'm hoping that in the future I could reuse these mason jars for canning purposes and I prefer them not to be painted black. I know I could probably, you know, scrape them off later down the road and I know they're not that expensive, but you know, let's, let's try to do a different solution. It's the holiday spirit. Let's come up with a completely over-engineered solution to get rid of this algae. So I actually came up with a pretty good idea when I was walking my dog today. There was actually a pallet on the road and I didn't grab that pallet specifically, but then it reminded me that I had this junk pile of wood in my garage from a failed end tables that I'd done. Um, I'm not even gonna post a photo of that right now because they just were a complete fail. My woodworking skills aren't the best, but at least now I have a pile of wood that I can use to uh, do some of these fun projects. So the goal with this current project is to create some sort of covering to block the light from getting into these glass jars. I still want to use these glass jars because, I mean, I have about 24 mason jars just sitting in our pantry and I'm like, well, might as well use them for something to grow hydroponics in. So I thought, okay, let's come up with a solution where I can use this wood and I can also use these mason jars to come up with a solution that will hopefully last a long time and will give me a bunch of uh, healthy lettuce. So it started off rough. So my idea was to take the spare wood that I had and create some sort of box structure and then put in individual holes inside that box structure that I can slot my net pots in. And the first problem I ran into was I didn't have a three inch drill bit. So I tried strategically drilling holes in a circle to make that three inch circle to fit my net pot. But that took me way too long. I mean, I was doing it for maybe 30 minutes just to get me half of a hole. So I bailed that real quick and I was like, you know what? I've got a job, might as well, you know, use some of that money to make my life a little bit easier. So then I pulled out this bad boy and it's kind of crazy that this is like $30 just for this one drill bit. I mean, it is pretty heavy duty, but I mean, 30 bucks for this thing. I mean, but hey, I had to do it. It, it would have took me probably four to five hours just to drill the nine holes I needed in my little piece of wood. So I got this thing and I was like, all right, perfect. We're gonna do three by three, perfect square box. And then we'll put the net pots in each one. And then under that, we'll have the mason jars kind of you know stacked in that perfect square situation. So then I, we'll have a lid so I can pick the lid up, you know, fill the mason jars back up and then put the plants back down in it. Okay. Great idea at the start. Had the perfect piece of wood. It was perfectly square. It was from the end tables. It looked really good. And then this happened. So I was drilling through. I'm like, okay, this is going good. Making my good holes. And then I was trying to get off the sawdust. And so I, I basically split my piece of wood in half. I was just shaking the sawdust off and then bam. Oh my God. I think there's still some sawdust on this bad boy. It made me cough. But I basically, yeah, smacked it down and then it just broke in half because it's one of those pieces of wood that's basically, I forgot what it's called, but it's all the piece of wood glued together. So that, you know, there's the seams where they're easily breaking on. And so when I did that, it just snapped completely in half. So I went from having a nine square box to, as you can see, this was six of them just got removed. So now I'm down to just a three square box, but hey, that's fine. Hey, we live and we learn, you know, not a carpenter, but it's still gonna be fun. So after that, I got my holes drilled. I got three straight holes looking good. And let me show you what I created. Look at this thing. It is the perfect height for a mason jar. It's got the three holes in it to cover it from the light coming in. And when I need to fill up my mason jars, I can just whoop, pop it up move it over, got my mason jars then sitting there, whoop, fill it up with some hydroponic solution and I'm on my way. It's honestly turned out a lot better than I expected. One of the downsides is since I did crack it at an angle, you'll see here that my wood shaping is a little skewed, but hey, this worked out. 
I can reuse my mason jars. I reuse some wood. I didn't have to buy any materials other than the drill bit. Probably post a few more of these videos of me trying to build cooler hydroponic systems using that drill bit and those net pots. So uh, hit subscribe if you want to see that. And pretty much this is how it works. Come over here, slide these in like this. So originally you might see a little bit of mold on this right now. So the theory before was to put this outside, but then with the rain kind of coming into the net pot from the top, it was like dripping into the solution and I had some basil plants running in there and they all just completely died. So maybe I'll try that again when it warms up. I think maybe I'll build some sort of canopy and build a larger kind of box setup going forward. But for now, this, you know, we can grow this under the grow light. I'll slide it in after I show you guys. But yeah, we have these now set up completely good to go. Um, and then basically all I do is then just, you can just pick it up like this, kind of figure out the spot, make sure the roots go in. We can always readjust later. Coming on down, okay, well, boom, so we got that. Then from here, you just kind of adjust accordingly. We we'll slide the mason jars around, perfect. Look at that, it even looks pretty good. So minus the mold, maybe give a little paint job, you know, maybe a little bit better craftsmanship. You could honestly probably use this in your house, you know, show it around for guests, maybe make it a centerpiece, it could be pretty cool. But yeah, that was my over-engineered solution to uh, blocking the light from coming into my hydroponic solution. If you guys like this video, hit subscribe and leave a comment and let me know if there's any other hydroponic DIY experiments you wanna try, because I'd love to give them a go. I love trying to do a few handyman things. So yeah, uh, and as always, happy growing.